right. something a little different. It's getting a little too cold outside to be working on a truck, so uh, I picked this uh, engine up here. It's a five horse Briggs, and I picked it up because I wanted to uh, exchange it for an engine that's on one of the mini bikes out in the shed there. And we'll we'll talk about that a little later, but uh, for now, let's just look at this. It's a, I believe it's a five horse, and uh, we did have it running. Me and Mike had it running at at, at the show when I bought it, and uh, I got it for a good price. So, but like I said, I want to put it on a mini bike, and uh, I might have to take off a, a lot of this stuff, you know, like the air cleaner. You know the muffler, probably maybe the gas tank. I don't, I don't know how much of this is going to fit on in in the mini bike frame. But uh, the first problem I see is uh, I think it has an oil leak. Let me put it up on a bench and uh, we'll uh, see what's going on there. All right. Yeah, when we were at the show and bought this, uh, me and Mike uh, wanted to get it started, so. Uh, we checked the oil and it was pretty low and uh, we put more oil in it and we might have overfilled it so when I brought it home and sat it on, on the floor here uh, it had this this one plug on here the top plug and it was broke so I thought okay well maybe that's that's why it was leaking on the floor so I, ch I changed the plug cleaned the floor up and then uh, put it back on on the floor and uh, you know, over the weeks, you you see what it's done. It's uh, leaked all over. So I don't know if it's a gasket here because the way they designed these, it's not like the old ones. You notice know, this gasket has always always has oil against it. You know the old sumps. You know they were in the bottom and and uh, they were a little different. But uh, I was looking at this one and it, and it looks like it hasn't had much use. It's in good shape. I didn't clean this up at all. And uh, it seems to be in pretty good shape, and by the looks of the number, I don't know how well you guys could see that, but uh, looks like it's a 1994. So, like I say, to put it on the mini bike, I might have to take all this stuff off and even change the carburetor. Maybe put a Tecumseh carburetor on there and a and a big hot dog muffler and maybe a, a fuel tank on the frame. But I don't know. I don't know. We don't know what we have to do yet. And uh, over on this side. See, maybe some, give you some light. Uh, this shaft here comes off the cam, is going to be in the way of our clutch. So, uh, we're probably going to have to cut that off. I, I looked to see if I had another side plate and a different uh, cam, but I don't. I, ha I have a different side plate, but it's not for this type of engine. So, uh, like I said, maybe we'll just cut that off and, and leave the, the stub in there to, to keep the oil from leaking out of the engine. But uh, that's where we're going to go with it, you know. And I just bought this to put on a mini bike so I can sell a mini bike, have something uh, good for some kid to use. So uh, maybe the first thing we'll do is uh, clean this up. And uh, maybe I'll go out in the, the shed and bring the mini bike in here because, like I say, it's pretty cold outside. And we'll bring it in and at least maybe just take the engine off of there. And maybe we can uh, dry fit this thing, see what we have to do to it. All right. All right. Yeah, I got that pulled the mini bike in from the shed there, and uh, yeah, the reason I want to change the motor is uh, we had this at a show, and uh, I was selling it, and Mike took it for a ride, and I was filming. I was I was even waiting him to come back, you know, so I could film coming back, and <laughs> and he was gone for about a uh, must have been twenty minutes or so, and I'm thinking, oh, uh, that's not good, and then I <laughs> I see him way in the, uh, off off to the side, and uh, he's pushing the thing, so. I said, that's not good. So then uh, he got it back. He said, yeah, it just cut out and, and he couldn't get it started. So then the next day, uh, after we tried starting it, you know, the next day we, uh, we put a new coil in here. And uh, we're still having trouble with it, you know. We checked the points. We did, it. We did everything with it and uh, we're having trouble with it. So uh, I told him, I said, you know what? You know, Mike liked this because this was, this was a big block Tecumseh. And it was big and husky and industrial and and powerful and fast and everything and, and he liked it and this is the mini bike he used to ride you know so he had to make some modifications just to put it on a bike here like extend the the foot pegs here and the foot pegs and this is the brake pedal here just to get it you know because this this here sticks out so far you know because you could actually put a an electric start on this and everything 
and it was a good motor and he had fun with it and uh, you know it's even it's even off center and off balance you know it's uh, it's tough to make it stand on by itself you know with the kickstand but uh, anyway you know I'm trying to sell the thing now and uh, I told him I said you know what instead of even messing with this thing let's just take it off and uh, find another engine and that's what I did with this but uh, it'd be nice if I could just put that on there and wouldn't have to worry about clearance another thing the main problem with this was the spark plug the spark plug was right here right under the frame so if you had to even change the spark plug you would have to take the motor off disconnect the motor and that was one of the things that I didn't like about it you know but uh, it worked and we had fun with it so hopefully and that's got a small plug in there that's got a J, J8 in there you know a short plug and uh, even if we have to do, put, put a small plug in this one I think it'll be okay but just from looking at it uh, it looks like the gas tank might hit this this brake pedal here you know I could probably fix that and just uh, cut it off here and move this back a little bit so it, it uh, points in this direction so I could probably uh, do that but I don't know like I said we might have to take the gas tank off the carburetor off uh, and the muffler and everything so we might have to reconstruct everything but for now I'm just going to take this motor off of here and clean this motor off and uh, then we'll dry fit it and see uh, see what, exactly what has to be done alright alright yeah it's the next day and uh, I took that big block to come so off and uh, I put this Briggs on there and there were some clearance problems let me come around here let me grab a seat and one of them was like I said this this brake lever here so uh, uh, a little dirt bike and daddy dirt bike were over here last night and we were looking at it and remember I said uh, we'll, we'll cut the bottom and slide this back well little dirt bike says why don't you just shorten it a little bit because it was it was pretty close matter of fact you guys still there here's the piece that daddy dirt bike cut off and uh, he probably could have just cut it to the bottom of that Actually, could have probably could have ground off the top, but uh, there's plenty here, and he probably could have cut off maybe uh, an eighth, an eighth, maybe an eighth or a little more, three three eighths. And now maybe uh, yeah, maybe a maybe a quarter inch less, and it would have been fine. But uh, this will work. I just got to uh, make it look good now, even though you don't see it because this. This will go right up here, and you won't see anything, but uh, I'm going to take it outside and uh, round off the edges. But anyway, uh, we got plenty of clearance now. Of course, it's a, it's a good half inch, so uh, that's good. But I uh, ran into another problem up here, right? I, I put a small spark plug in there, and uh, there's clearance. You can take that out, put that in, take that out. That's, so uh, that's not going to be an issue. Uh, but the air cleaner here was pretty close let me get it and it's just this plastic box there's a couple different ways I could have uh, could go about this you know you got a big sump there and a quarter inch on the side here and, and I, could pro I could probably cut that out and lower that a quarter inch because of this plastic cover is hitting the frame but this thing, will, this thing will go into that, there's an inset in this metal thing, and it'll actually come down, but it won't come down unless the, the motor's off. So uh, what I'm thinking of doing is just notching the top here, putting a little uh, round, about a one inch round cut out, and then uh, just leave it like that, you know, because you're not going to see it. And then you can, you can take this thing off because it's going to be on top of the air filter. And even this, you know, it's got a big, big hole in the side here for the air to go in and come out here. So if I uh, cut a little notch in the back there, a half inch, no, uh, uh, about a one inch, uh, it'll just uh, sit up against the frame there and this will go down where it belongs and uh, 
problem solved. So that's going to do now. And uh, I actually got it bolted in. I don't have it tightened, but I have it bolted bolted down. So I'm going to check to see. Uh, maybe I'll take this pulley off and put the clutch on there. And I think that it'll, the chain will be fine because you still have some play in the rear wheel. That, that'll move about a half inch. Right now I have the, the engine all the way back. So, so I think it's, I think everything's going to work out fine. All I have to do is, uh, like I say, cut this plastic here and uh, we'll be okay. All right. I, I had this off earlier. Before, before I put this on here, I, I had this uh, air cleaner off and uh, I seen something and I'll show you guys. It'll be pretty interesting. All right. I got that pulley off. It fought me all the way. I uh, put aero coil on it, heat on it, a pulley on it. I had to compromise the pulley. So the pulley's no good, but I didn't plan on using it anyway. But uh, I took the clutch off the other motor and uh, here we go. It fits on there nice now. Slides on, no problem. So uh, I cleaned that up with a little uh, scotch bright. And uh, let me show you what's going on over here. You know, you look at this engine, you say, man, that engine is nice, you know? Nice and clean. And you say, why would somebody uh, take that off and uh, put it on a shelf or do whatever? You know, well, uh, let me show you what's going on here. Is that still with me? I put the bright lights on overhead so uh, you might be able to see. Uh, check out the throttle here. Look how loose that is. So, I've never seen one this loose before. So, uh, that's probably what the problem was. There's a couple things I could do here. I could uh, take this carburetor off and uh, put a Chinese one on there. They're on the internet for uh, 20 bucks. You get a, for 20 bucks you get a new carburetor, two spark plugs, a gas filter, a gas shutoff, and a, a new air a new air filter, a new one of these. All that for 20 bucks. Or I could try and uh, you know where you could just replace this throttle. The throttle's uh, 18 bucks, $10 shipping, but I don't know if uh, the carburetor housing messed up or this. I, I've never I've, I've never dealt with this. Uh, I call it newer stuff. It's a 74, but I'm used to working on 100-year-old cast iron stuff. Or uh, I see these at the shows all the time, you know, for $5, you know, but uh, I don't feel like waiting, you know. I'm, I have nothing to do, and I'm, I want to get this thing done. Or I could... Uh, just put a plea out there and uh, somebody probably has one sitting in the garage they'd be glad to send me I'd probably wind up with uh, 12 of them but I think what I'm going to do I don't know, it's a mini bike and a mini bike is always 90% of the time is, is run wide open so I think this might only affect the idle you know it might hunt you know just uh, surge and stuff like that but I could be wrong I don't know it, it might just shut off but uh, I'm going to take all this stuff apart and clean this because, like I say, it's leaking oil over here somewhere. I don't know. It may just be the, the side cover gasket or maybe a crack. Who knows? But anyway, I'm going to find out. And uh, I might take this apart and uh, see what's wrong with this. So, All right. I don't know when I'll see you guys again, but uh, I was looking at this to see where, where to hook up a throttle. And... Right here on the side of the carburetor is actually a, a slit for a cable, and that'll hold the cable. And you get rid of all this garbage here. You know, here's your here's your throttle now. You get rid of all of that, and then down here, you can't really see it, but uh, this thing right here, you can hook it to that. Or I think there's another way of hooking it at the bottom. I don't know. Whatever the case, we'll, we'll figure it out and uh, we'll make it work, right? Alright, you know what, I think I might even clean that uh, frame up while I got it off and, 
and give it a coat of black just to clean it up a little bit. We'll see. Sometimes I do that, I get goofy and get carried away. So, all right, I'm, uh, I'm gonna shut this down for now and go get some dinner, and then uh, I don't know when I'll see you next, maybe tomorrow. All right, see you later. All right, it's another day, and uh, let's uh, let's start taking this apart. All right, I guess we'll take the muffler, get that muffler out of our way. I'm going to try and stay out of your way. You guys try and stay out of mine because uh, I might kick you, you know, because I got you up on a tripod and you, you're right under my feet here. So. It's got a lock uh, tab on here I bent down. Interesting looking bolt, huh? Big, thick. I thought that was a sleeve. Maybe it is. It's a sleeve. Hmm. Might hear a little background noise. I got the heater on. Okay. Yeah, these, uh, these mufflers just slide on there. You got two bolts. But also, inside here you got threads in case you wanted to put a Put a hot dog muffler. Let me get a light. I just felt something there. It felt odd. That's just a casting. There's a casting for the valve. I thought it was a piece of metal. I'm going to say, hey, yay, yay. All right. I'm going to try and keep you guys in frame here. Still there? All right. I already took the two bolts on the bottom off there, so I don't get in your way. Hold the shroud on. I think earlier I called this a 74 by accident. It's uh, actually meant to say 94. Still relatively new to me, but not to most people. Okay, shoot them off. All right. And the only thing holding is this little tab. All right. You see, it makes you wonder. You know, the whole engine. Look how nice and clean that is. But down here, you know, it's all all cluttered up with it. With uh, three eighths uh, thickness of oil and stuff. So, let's put this out of the way. Put the, uh, the shroud out of the way. It's only held on by one screw. Alright. I think I'm going to put this right back in the motor here just so I don't lose it. Because it's so tiny. I'm not going to take the head off. No need to do that. Like I said, I'm not rebuilding this thing. I just uh, want to clean it up to uh, put on a mini bike and get rid of it. Let me get this out of the way. Because I'm going to have to get behind a flywheel because it's so dirty back there. Work on this newer stuff very well. I call it, keep calling it newer stuff. I don't know how old the 94, I don't know how that is, but uh, it's not really new. So I don't even know what's holding this on here. The magnet, the magnet's holding it on. And then you got this little, little wire, and this wire up here. Dope! I'm going to have to remember to put that on. It's just uh, slid on there and held on with the bottom bolt. Let you guys see that. So I, if I have to, I can uh, refer back to that. Alright. Let's take this flywheel off. 
I don't have the tool to hold this flywheel, but I have an older one that'll work. Because these fins are actually twice as thick as the, the fins on the stuff I usually work on. Not these right here, but the, the cast iron ones right here. And uh, that's what I use, you know. On the older, on the older aims, uh, these uh, little things hook into the the fins and hold two fins. But like I say, this is meant for an older one, an older model. But uh, you can get it to work and hold one fin, and that should be fine. These things are just going on that tight anyway. Didn't work. Right. Let me figure something else out. I'll be right back. All right, we've got this little—I uh, don't know if it's a hammer drill or whatever impact driver they call it. I don't really use this thing that much. All right, yeah, but it should uh, should do this because these these usually aren't that hard to get off. There right, you go. There we go. I'm going to spin that on so it's flush. All right. Now, put a little pry. You know what? I'm going to give you guys some light. Is that a little better? You know, there's actually a place to put these on these engines. You know, a lot of guys put them up against the block, but there's actually a spot. This one, this one's right there. All right. I think we got it. I think we got it. Clean. At one time, on the older ones, they would have a number, and the number would be the year. But this one, uh, this one says 45. We know it's not the right year. All right. Don't, don't forget the, your key here. Don't lose that. Or else we'll have to get another one. All right. yeah, it's all just dirty back here. It's like. It don't look like the seal was bad and it was leaking out of here. I, like I said, I, I don't know why there's so much oil on this thing. You know? Alright. What are we going to go next? Alright, you know what we're going to do? We're going to uh, take the gas tank and carburetor off. But uh, I want to take a few pictures because there's a lot of, a lot of linkage back here. I don't know how well you guys can see it. You know, you, you can only see two links, but, but then you got the governor and wires and stuff. So uh, I want to look at it over before I take it off and maybe take some pictures. All right, let me get my camera. All right. Looks like it's just one bolt holding the bracket, the gas tank bracket on, and then I got five uh, Torx screws up here holding it to the carburetor. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this, uh, this stuff here. You know, the, the guys that work on lawnmowers all the time, they would zip this all apart. Matter of fact, they would zip it with the guns and stuff. And, because uh, they know where everything goes and they, they work on them so often. All right, there was uh, one wire I had to disconnect down here. And, uh, you guys are frame. And now I just got this one bolt here. Those well, zip guns come in handy, but I'm not in a hurry. And I can't grab it very well because it's the way the bracket is shaped here. Alright, so we got that one bolt, and I think when you take the gas tank off, there's 
one linkage we have to watch out for, and that's it. So. All right, you guys still in frame? Let's see if I can get this down for you. All right, you got the uh, looks like one screw here, one screw here, one down here, one down here, and these these two hold this uh, contraption on here. So uh, let me unscrew them. And then I'll turn these back on. It looks like it might take a couple minutes. Alright, I took all them torque screws out. And uh, the only thing holding on now is probably just the gasket. And hopefully uh, we don't destroy that. I think we can use that. Get some movement here. Like I say, I'm not familiar with these. You see a spring. You see a spring down there. Uh, maybe it's the, maybe it's the ground. I guess what it is. Uh, let me uh, let me lay this thing on its side. No, I can't. It's got fuel in there. I should, should empty the fuel, huh? Rookie mistake. Right. I think the only thing holding it might be this this one uh, linkage here. So, right, let me look it over. See what's holding us up. All right. We figured out what our problem was here. Uh, it was the gas that the gasket was stuck to this uh, little contraption here. So we can actually get this out of our way. There we go. And then here, the only thing holding us in is this. Uh, any view there? Is uh, this piece of linkage here? I could probably just pop that out, but uh, I get hesitant about popping shit stuff out of uh, you know forty year old plastic or whatever. So this this piece here is held on with a screw, and uh, that might uh, okay. Let's see if that disconnect everything for us. Just disconnects that linkage down there. See, I think that was a lot easier than trying to pop it out of a piece of plastic that might uh, break off in your hands. All right, in theory, this thing. Oh yeah, we got that spring. Don't forget that spring. Okay. I can't even see how it's held on. Let me look at that a little better. I forgot about that spring. All right, we disconnected that spring. Yeah, you gotta look at this stuff carefully because that's just not a spring you can go to the hardware store and pick up. It's, uh, you know, and the way it's it's connected is is pretty unique. So, and if you just turn it the right way, it'll come right off. So, all right, in theory again, this I should put this up on a block. got a plastic tube in there and uh, I don't want that to snap. Alright, got to uh, put some big blocks here and uh, hopefully this will do it. I'm going to try and stay out of your way. I don't mean to do that. Alright. So I don't know if you can see there's a plastic tube right here. Fit perfectly out that hole there. 
Alright. We did it. We did it without breaking anything. Alright. All this just to clean this thing up because couldn't get all the stuff with the, everything in the way. I can't even see the bolts here. They're, they're so covered with crud. Alright. Let me look that over and then uh, we'll go on from there. Alright. We're almost there. Uh, this luggage got to come off here. I'll take the carburetor off. Looks like just two screws. Two Torx, Torx heads. But uh, you get these linkages out of the way so we don't lose them. And to get this linkage off, it looks like you got to take this off. Oh, here you go. Another special bolt. You don't want to lose that kind of stuff. Alright, let's see. Let's see how we disconnect this now. Can't go high enough to disconnect that. Here we go. Get that off. Now this one comes way out here. Yeah, it's like a puzzle. Now this, this will probably come right out there. Oh no. No, that was actually yeah, pretty tight in there. Oh well. I guess that's where our problem was in this, uh, this part right here. Oh well. Alright. Put that over here. I'll spin this around for you. You know what? Can't even see this torch nut down here. This torch screw because there's so much grease in it. I'll spin you around here. It's funny you got a, a nut up here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in. Hold on. All right. You're just about at the top here. But anyway, let me tilt you down. There is no way to get a. There's a Torx. You might be able if you get. I guess if you got this out of the way, probably it'll get a screw on there. But there's no way you're going to get a wrench on here. And it's a. Looks like maybe a three eighths. But you get something like this. How many people have these little, these little baby ratchets for the, for the Torx? This one actually has a. A ratchet on there so you can spin it around. There you go. I loosened it up. Let me see if this you take this off. Nah, yeah, you would have managed. You're not that straight on there because you're, you're not actually hitting back here, you're hitting this. But uh, that would have worked. And this one here. This one here, you got to come way under here. Oh, oh there you go. I don't know if I'm in your way. I'm probably in your way. Sorry about that. Sometimes it bees that way. See now, somebody that works on these every day would have had this thing apart in about two minutes, maybe three, if they were taking their time. But, uh, all right, so I think that's about where we're going to go for now. We got all the accessories off it. Now I'm just going to find out why, why it's all messy and leaky like that. Plus, I got to clean it. Sometimes, you know, when you overfill an engine, it throws the oil up where it shouldn't be. And, you know, this, there's no reason there should be oil way up here, that much oil anyway. Splash oil, but I don't know. Is our governor governor? Hi, right. I don't know how long this video is, but uh, 
you guys don't want to see me clean this, right? So what do you guys say? Uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right. Enough of this. All right. That's what we got after a couple hours, maybe a couple, three hours of uh, scraping off this uh, engine. Big pile. It's uh, all dirt. This, I don't know if this thing must have been a tiller or something. I don't know. But there's an awful lot of dirt on there. And like I say, it's. I didn't degrease it yet. I just uh, scraped off all the all the dirt. I see a little spot where I got to get in. Hmm. So even that, even that would be more acceptable than it would look like. So remember, we're not restoring this. Just uh, cleaning it up to put it on a mini bike, make it look a little better. Even inside the shroud, I didn't degrease that yet. Just uh, scraped out all that crud. All right.